not going to be much to this one because it's pretty dead simple. I am really focused on here. Here, let's expand this. Here, let's move this up. This is all I care about. Under 8K. This is the highest probability. But there's also a statistic for us to go above the, the highs in the 10,000 level. So that is also probable. Um, which one's first? Who knows? Uh, don't care. Uh, the next level to actually sell, if I am going to sell more, it's going to be above this 10,500 area. So we might, I might add to that effect as well, but my target is going to be 8,000 and under. And um, it, that is very glaring. It sticks out to me. Since we first moved above the 9,500, and now we're just meandering here, um, we have the statistics that go back to 8K. And this is kind of a bearish. This might mean the several months ahead, not, you know, super long term, but it might basically, we might be contained all the way down to the here uh, and bouncing around for the next uh, good many months. Um, that's kind of what statistically is the highest probability. Doesn't mean it will. You know me with the stats. Um, probability does not equal what will happen. It just equals what is likely to occur. So I have to go off of based off of the, the numbers and not what I think or uh, feel will happen. So we'll wait and see, you know, uh, what occurs. Um, but the only numbers that I have is above the 10,500 to sell more and under 8K to start mining back and getting long again. But other than that, pretty boring, pretty straightforward. Um, stock market spiked way up today, but I did not see much of a move on Tesla. It's because it's very overvalued. Um, it is kind of, it mimics Bitcoin almost perfectly. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what it does. And again, the statistics are going back to 600 and under, as I've stated before. And nothing has changed there as well. So this is a very... Um, it's not an eventful market. There's nothing to really try. I have to wait for these bigger numbers to really work themselves out. So that's kind of like what I'm, I'm currently doing. And I see nothing of real interest outside of silver, which, like I said, you know, I'm a big bull of that. Um, it's making its way up. And uh, again, um, you know, my feelings on this is my favorite position, but this is for years out because I... You know, just like with Bitcoin, that inflation is going to hit. They cannot print the amounts of money that they printed <laughs> and it not to have an effect in the years to come. Um, unless everybody just all got together and worked their asses off and created so much um, produce, uh, product uh, from their work and their labor um, to overcome it, but I just don't think that's going to be likely. There's going to be a lot of stores that are going to get closed. There's going to be a lot of uh, unemployment to come in the future, and it's going to be in ebbs and flows, and uh, it's not going to all hit at once, and it's going to be depressing um, the economic figures. Now, unfortunately, the 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 we have the U.S. elections that are coming into effect for November. And uh, Trump is going to do everything he can through the Fed to go over and prop up the economy, stocks, and, and make everything inflated. And he has no choice but to do that, so his re-election chances are heightened um, because he is the uh, incumbent president. Uh, the, he's going to push for that to a great degree. And that's why you have them, first time ever in history, buying ETFs, exchange-traded funds. Um, so it just proves that they're in the market and they're manipulating prices upward to go for and uh, regain their um, great economic success as they would like to uh, think of it. But economics work outside of governments and they work outside of people. They, they are just the cycles of the natural ebb and flow of things. And um, if you try to fight them, you actually, all you do is you're making it worse and you're elongating it over time. So they're actually going to make the downward effects that are going to happen in the future much worse because of their uh, attempts to fight it. Um, 
you don't throw good money after bad. And that's an old saying, and it always remains true. And that's what they're doing. They're throwing good money after bad. And, um, yep, you got to earn your, uh, you got to earn it. You can't just um, burn it. And the, the, all they're doing is burning it. So, anyway, um, that's my update for the week. And I hope you guys have a great week. And if something happens interesting, we'll update you. But you know what I'm looking for? I want that under 8K. It's right there. It's sticking out. It's saying, hello, here I am. <laughs> Highest probability. So we'll see uh, if or when that happens. And I will talk to you later in the week. Have a great week.